مرحبا واهلا وسهلا فيكم هلا اند ويلكم اي هاب ستودنتس لايك يو سبيك Arabic and not just learn about it. My mission is to help you get speaking Arabic and overcome all the obstacles and difficulties that are between you and fluency. Before we start, why don't you visit the link down below to get your free copy of the Levantine Lebanese Spoken Arabic Conversation and Phrase Book, free of charge. Check the link down below. Yalla, let's begin. مرحبا واهلا وسهلا فيكم. In this lesson, we're going to speak about ordinal numbers and explain the difference between آخر and أخير in um, Arabic. يلا نبلش. Let's begin. Firstly, let's review um, uh, cardinal and ordinal numbers. واحد becomes awwal, and you'll have the transliteration in a bit if you can't read the Arabic text. In the feminine, it becomes ula. So awwal, first, ula, first in the feminine. Nain, number two, becomes teni. Notice the tha in uh, Arabic, in spoken, becomes a ta in Lebanese, teni. Teni, so we add the round ta for the rest, starting uh, the second and uh, so on, to change it to the feminine. So apart from awal becomes ula, teni becomes teni, telit, the third from tleti, telti in the feminine, arba becomes rabi, and in the feminine raba, we add um, the feminine ta. Uh, khamsi, khamis, and it becomes khamsi in the feminine. Sitti, sedis, sedsi in the feminine. Sab'a, sebi'a, seb'a in the feminine. Tmeni, temin, temi. Again, the ta is pronounced as a ta in Lebanese. Tis'a, tesi'a, tesa, ashra, ashir, ashra. Now, can you list um, the lessons from the first to the tenth? So we can say, الدرس الأول, الدرس التاني, الدرس التالت, الدرس الرابع, الدرس الخامس, الدرس السادس, الدرس السابع, الدرس التامن, الدرس التاسع, الدرس العاشر. So from the first to the tenth. Now, in the feminine, uh, for example, um, let's think about a, a feminine uh, noun. Irrihli, the trip. Irrihli, irrihli il ula, the first trip. Irrihli il tani, irrihli il telti. So we add the round ta, and just uh, be mindful that the round. Uh, will have two uh, pronunciations in Lebanese, either an E, a short A sound, or an A sound. So, التالتي. الرحلة الرابعة. So, with an A. الرحلة الخامسة. With an A. So, depending on... Um, I know you can have some uh, general um, rules that we can deduce about the round ta, whereas we can say... Um, uh, depending on the letter before the round ta, uh, the sound produced can be an e or an a, but um, uh, the rule can be broken. So I don't want to give a rule about that. So with uh, exposure, uh, you will get to know which ones are a or a. So itteni again, itteni, ittelit, ittelti. Raba becomes raba, rihle raba, rihle al khamsi, rihle al sedsi, rihle al sabra. الرحلة الثامنة، الرحلة التاسعة، الرحلة العاشرة. So over here you can see uh, واحد الأول الأولى in the feminine. ثاني uh, ثانية، ثالث ثالثة، رابع رابعة، خامس خامسة. You can see the round that at the end. 
سادس سادسة سابع سابعة ثامن ثامنة تاسع تاسعة عند عاشر عاشرة So with the transliteration in the feminine you can post the screen here and read the transliteration in the feminine Um, هلا عنا سبق the race سبق ركض the running race هون البداية the start وهون النهاية the finish uh, pause the screen and try to think جربوا فكروا مين الأول uh, مين الثاني مين الثالث and so on and just be mindful when you're doing this exercise of uh, uh, masculine and feminine so if you have to use the masculine ordinal numbers or the feminine ordinal numbers. Let's do it together. So, Sara hiyi il ula. We can't say il awal because she's a female. So, Sara hiyi il ula. Saeed huwi il tani. Il tani, the second. Jamal huwi il talit, the third. Il talit. Muna hiyi il raba. So, we can't say il raba because she's a female. Hiyi il raba. Uh, Salim, who will Khamis, who Jad, who is Sadis, he's the six, sixth. Uh, and we can also say he's the last. Who will Akhir? Il Akhir means the last. Now, Shul Farid Ben, Akhir wa Akhir. What's the difference between Akhir and Akhir? Awal means uh, first. We know that already, and we know Ula is the feminine. So, Awal Kitab is the first book. Il Mutasebi, Il Awal, the first competitor, or Il Mutasebi, Il Ula in the feminine. He is Sara, who is Sarah. So, we know that already. But Il Akhir is the very final or the last, and there's no one or nothing after that in sequence or within the hierarchy. For example, over here, Jad who will mutasab il akhir. He is the last uh, uh, competitor or the last one. Who will akhir? And you might know al akhira. Al akhira in Arabic is the hereafter or the afterlife or eternal life. Il akhir. الشيء الأخير, the very last thing. أو الحدا الأخير, the very last person. But if I ask شو آخر كتاب قريته, what's the last book that you've read, that means the most recent book, I'm going to use آخر. I can't say شو آخر كتاب, uh, that would sound off. شو آخر كتاب قريته, what's the last or most recent uh, book? Because there could be other uh, books after it. So, and typically, akhir comes uh, before another noun. So, akhir kitab. Uh, I cannot say kitab akhir. That wouldn't make sense. Akhir always comes before uh, the noun that we're speaking about in what we call a an idafa uh, construction or a noun annexation. Noun uh, plus another noun annexed to it. So, awal kitab. But I can say il kitab al awal. Okay, so awal kitab or il kitab al awal. Same thing. But over here, akhir kitab, the last or most recent book, but I can't say kitab al akhir or il kitab al akhir. So that's going to sound off. However, I can say il kitab al akhir, the final or the very last book, the very, very last book. So hence the difference. As well, grammatically speaking, awal. Kitab or al kitab al awal, that's fine. Uh, we but we cannot say kitab uh, akhir, that wouldn't make sense, or al kitab al akhir, that wouldn't make sense. We can say al kitab al akhir, so we can use al akhir as an adjective. It always comes after the noun as an adjective, whereas akhir will come before the noun. Akhir kitab. شو آخر شيء عملته؟ What is the last thing that you did? Um, شو آخر شيء قلته؟ What is the last thing that you've said? 
So Echid plus a noun. What is the last or most recent? But the, the final, the very last thing. Nothing else. Il akhir. And that will come as an adjective after the noun, not before the noun. So after the noun. Hence the difference. Il kitab al akhir. The final book. <laughs> For example, Abel, uh, Abel Maimoud, before he died, هذا كان الكتاب الأخير اللي أرى. This was the last book that he uh, read. هذا كان الشيء الأخير لعمله. That was the final thing that he, he did. So we can conclude uh, that الأخير, the very final or the very last, there's nothing after it. And it comes after the noun. آخر can mean the last as well or the most recent. Uh, thing, but that's going to come before the noun and not after it, typically. بتمنى يكون الدرس عجبكم. I hope you like the lesson. وشكرا لكم. شكرا للمتابعة. Thank you for watching. Make sure to click on the channel icon and go to the store button to check out some cool merchandise.